This stand is a useful guide to summarize the most common penetrations that penetrate our air barrier and the typical ways of sealing them. If we start here with what we're looking at is replicating a timber joist that's penetrating our air barrier. One of the most common ways of sealing timber joists that penetrate, in this case it's the Intello Plus, is by using a split release tape, the Tescom Profil. The adhesive tape has a 12 millimeter strip and a 48 millimeter strip that allows you to apply one strip onto the timber edge and the other strip back onto the air barrier. Sealing four sides will effectively seal the timber joist to the air tightness membrane. This is typically utilized in retrofit scenarios, timber joist ends um, and around intermediate floor level, uh, suspended timber floors, sealing them back to the air barrier it tends to be used. The other retrofit solution tends to be around pipework and ductwork, the Exoseal Magov, where you don't have the ability to apply uh, a grommet to the end of the pipe, retrofitting using a stretchy, malleable tape like the Exoseal Magov is super useful. So again, similar to the Tescom Profil, it's supplied with two release strips. So you can fold the tape, apply it directly to the outside of the ductwork, and then release the, the other release strip and adhere it to the Intello Plus. The other retrofit solution is called the K-Flex Post. Again, it's supplied with a Tescon number one tape with a Tescon Vanna backing that allows you to seal effectively around cables that are already installed. By applying the tape around the cable and fully pinching, pinching in around the cable, you can ensure that zero air leakage happens and very common areas of leakage around cables. So those three are very handy for retrofit solutions. If you can sequence in properly, especially a new build, the easiest way is to allow for the airtight EPDM grommets. In this case here, a four inch duct has been sealed using the Roflex 100. Roflex 100 is an EPDM rubberized grommet that is undersized and would fit around the outside of the duct, adhered back to the substrate and fully sealed, again using Tescon Vanna. Similar to the Roflex 100, we have the Roflex 50, suitable for sealing 50 millimeter pipes. Again, it's undersized and will grab a hold and air, like an airtight sleeve right around the pipe, and then you can adhere it back to the substrate with the Tescon Vanna. Like the Roflex tapes, this, for smaller cables, we use the K-Flex. Again, they have the integral EPDM rubberized grommet, that fully seals around the edges of the cables, and then they have their own adhesive of Tescon Vanna attached, so they can be fully adhered back to the substrate. The benefit of using the EPDM grommets is that you have movement in the long term. You can position and move the pipes that allows your electrician and your plumber full access to position cables during the build. The other useful grommet is the K-Flex Multi, allows you to fit multiple cables in one area. So it's supplied as a 150 by 150 millimeter patch of EPDM. And then you, have, you can have a punch that's supplied with the patch. You punch in where you think the, the pipes are going to penetrate the patch, keeping the pipes at, and cables at least 10 millimeters apart. And then you can feed up to 16 cables through the patch and again seal the EPDM patch back to the air barrier. The other main area of leakage that you will see would be at, this is at wall level, but you also see it a lot in the ceiling, where you have penetrations coming through your ceiling and into your room, is downlighters. Downlighters and attic hatches tend to be the main areas of leakage at ceiling level. In this case here, we have an uptime airtight downlighter protector. That is going to seal around any downlighters that might penetrate your air barrier. So, a significant amount of leakage can happen around the actual downlighter itself, so that needs to be protected. So this would sit in your ceiling void and be sealed back to your air barrier, around which you can fit your insulation in your ceiling. But this means that any air leaks that you have that are very common around downlighters is fully protected. That's an overview of the most common areas of leakage that can happen through either structural penetrations or service penetrations in your air barrier.